What's going on YouTube? Yeah, it's me again. Rookie Bodybuilding 101. As a beginner, how to build your first workout regime. When I first started training, this was probably one of the hardest things to do because you're not quite sure what you should be doing, how many reps, how many sets, what exercises, because there's a whole heap of exercise that you could be doing. So, firstly, I want you to, in a second, hit that pause button and I want you to go and grab a pen and paper. You back? Cool. All right, so I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen uh, that film Van Wilder, where he's like, write that down. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. So, as I'm talking, write that down. So first you wanna, what we did, and when I say we, it's me and my friend JK, who you might feature on the channel. He's actually doing a lot of powerlifting stuff. He won, he's in RAF and he, um, he actually won the overall title for his weight class. So now he's going to the next stage, which is pretty damn good. So we've kind of veered off on different paths. He's gone a powerlifting route, I've gone a physique route, but you know, it's all good. But he might feature, so you know, I'm, gonna, I'm looking to go up and see him. But anyway, I digress. So you got your pen and paper. You wanna start by listing, and this, uh, this is exactly what we did, list all the body parts. So start from the top and work your way down. So you've got your delts, shoulders, you've got your arms, so your bicep, your tricep, the forearms, you've got your quads, so your legs, front of the leg, your hamstrings, the back of the leg, and then your calves, and you've got your back. So now how do you split this to make your workout split? Firstly, Decide how many days you're going to be doing in the gym. I personally recommend four. Four is what we did when we started. So now on your piece of paper, you should have your body parts listed. Now, right, day one, then leave some space. Day two, leave some space again. Day three, then day four. So those are your four days. Now let's figure out what you're going to train on each of those days. When we began, everyone told us it was International Chest Day on a Monday. So that's what we did. So we did chest and we also thought, well, from reading magazines and, you know, from training a little bit anyway, the other muscle that gets sore is a tricep. So let's tie those two in together. So day one was chest and triceps. Day two, let's do the opposite of what we've just done. So now let's work the back. And when you train your back with the majority of the exercises, you also train your bicep. So let's tie those two together, back and biceps. Okay, so that was day two done. Day three, very, very big, I mean, it's half your body, leg day. Day three, let's do legs. So we've got the front, the back, and the calves. Then day four, what's left? So as you're, as you're writing these down, you're crossing them off your body part list. So now all that's left is shoulders and abs. So day four, guessed it, shoulders and abs. All right, so now you've got your split. Now you know what you're doing on each day but now you need to know what exercises you're gonna do on each day. As a beginner, it's all about building the foundation. No foundation, no house. A lot of newbies, because there, there's so much information in these bodybuilding magazines, and don't get me wrong, we learn a lot from bodybuilding magazines, but you have to remember that even a lot of the stuff on YouTube, because it's people's personal training plans, a lot of the time it's intermediate to advanced. So to be copying it as a beginner, could give you certain imbalances that you don't really want. So we need to give you a good foundation. By giving you a good foundation, you need to do what I call the big four. That is your bench press, squat, deadlift, shoulder press. With those four exercises, if you were to just do those four exercises, you could actually build a very good base. So we're gonna base the workouts around this, and this is what we did. So on chest day, bench press. After a good warm up, we go to bench press. We started on dumbbells because it allows you to get the stabilizing muscles working, help with that neuromuscular connection. But also, if you do fail, you don't have a big old bar coming across your neck, you can just let go of the dumbbells. So, dumbbell bench press, which gives you the pressing, mo um, pressing movement, which gives you the, the thickness of the chest. Then second exercise, be like a cable fly or a dumbbell fly, which gives you the width. Then we were trying to think of an exercise which ties in the chest 
and the triceps so it's kind of like a smooth crossover barbell um, so we went on to the dip machine so now we've transitioned into triceps so then we finished after that we finished off the triceps with kickbacks either with a cable or with a dumbbell then with the rope the extension where you pull it out at the bottom so all the way down pull it out and now is our chest and triceps day then on to day two back and biceps everyone wants that v taper everyone wants that nice v shape so we started off with lat pull downs or pull ups so that works the the width of your back now you want to work the thickness of your back so then we did some single arm rows so this is where you've got one arm on the bench and you're bent over and you're rowing the dumbbell towards your hip. With those two exercises done, we're now thinking how can we cross over into biceps. So then we got onto the lat pull down, but we did underhand. So you're bringing it in towards your chest, but because you're bringing it in so tight, your biceps are contracting quite a bit as well. So you'll probably feel a lot of burn on your biceps. That helps us transition over to the bicep workout. Now we just did preacher curls with the easy bar. So that's the bar that's like that. And then hammer curls with dumbbells back and biceps done onto legs all right so we've got the front of the leg the quads start with that squats nice and easy after that leg extensions hits the quads as well okay now for hamstrings a lot of people will argue this point and say that this next exercise that i'm going to say should be on back day it can be on back day i chose for it not to be on back day because it also works the hamstrings so before anyone starts talking it's just what i decided to do and it's the advice that I'm giving to you. And that is the deadlift. The deadlift works your lower back, a bit of your, your lats a bit, your hamstrings, your core. It works a lot of muscles, but I predominantly used it for my hamstrings. So that's the exercise that I'm gonna put into that one. So you've got the deadlift, and then after that, some lying leg curls or some seated leg curls, hamstrings done. Then onto calves, you've got the seated calf raise, and the standing calf raise. So that's legs done. Day four, shoulders and abs. On your shoulders, you've got the front deltoid, you've got the lateral head, and you've got the rear deltoid. We're just gonna keep it nice and simple, a nice shoulder press. We started with dumbbells and worked to barbell. And then some nice lateral raises, and then some face pulls. So that's your shoulders kind of work there. You've hit the front, you've hit the side, and you've hit the back. Then abs, three parts of the abs again. You've got the top, you've got the bottom, you got the sides. It's nice and simple. We did just normal crunches. We did reverse crunches. So bring your knees to your chest. And then we did oblique crunches. So holding a weight in one hand and then crunching. So that's day four done. Now the next question is, what rep range should I do? Should I do 15 reps? But people say that's endurance. This PT said I should be doing five sets of five. This PT said, shut up. Doesn't matter what they say. When we started, <laughs> we were thinking we need enough reps we need you know we want to feel like we've worked hard you know finish your day at uni you go to the gym you want to go home thinking you worked hard so you want we want volume but we also want we want to feel like superman when we when we leave the gym with the chest high and feel like we really lifted some decent weight so we thought all right so we read in magazines about pyramids and stuff we don't want to go too heavy because we've just started so let's go 12 10 8 6 that's four sets we're working from higher higher rep to lower rep, we're working our strength nice and easy. Next question is rep timing and rest time. Rep timing, just don't focus on that too much, if I'm honest. You just don't wanna look like an idiot and be like, but then you also don't wanna be super slow, slow motion guy. Just a nice, you know, like a piston. Rest times, if you're training with someone, which I guess you will be, is you go, I go, you go, I go. No talking in between sets, talking between exercises. So when you're moving onto, from bench press onto maybe cable flies, as you're walking towards the next machine, you talk then, you converse, you talk about each other's day. So that's it. That is my advice on how to build your very first lifting program. Give it a try. If you want to take, take it exactly as it is, or you want to adapt it, go ahead. That's just my advice. That's what myself and JK did when we first started training. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Until next time, peace.